Welcome to Celebrity Home Shopping. I'm your host, Samir. On today's episode, we're taking a look inside Jeffree Star's recently listed Hidden Hills, California home. Let's take a look inside. Here's what we love about this house. We love the curb appeal. Well, maybe not exactly the curb appeal, but we love French Normandy. We love the gutter work. Ooh, baby, I can't even see any gutters. We love the columns. As a Persian by law, we require maximum columns. We love these roses. And we love this little driveway dip in the front. I'd scream I'm coming out of my cage and I'm doing just fine every time I drove out of here. Inside, we love the double bridal staircase. The movies made me realize these were an absolute mansion must. We love the gold balusters. They look a lot better than they did when he bought the home. We love this dome skylight. Here it is from another angle. This home is massive, so it's really all about the amenities. It has this gym, a massage room, a movie theater, a chill space in the movie theater area with an arcade. Also, there's a little bar in there, as well as a temperature controlled sauce closet. This space is great for my vintage ranch and hot sauce collection. Hey Jeeves, go down to the cellar and grab me a bottle of my 1987 Hidden Valley. And the backyard has a huge pool and a lot of space for entertaining. Let's go back to some of the home, shall we? We love the wood in the library. There's something about books which are made from trees being surrounded by trees that just feels right. Back to the home gym for a second. We're all pretty lazy. Not having to go somewhere to work out is a huge plus. Outside, we love this lump zone. I've already found my lump spot, have you? And finally, we love the huge barn that's a little bit off the property. I'd spend a lot of my time away from the home down here. Oh, where's Samir? Call him on the landline in the barn, he's probably there. Here's what we hate about this house. We hate that they only did half the landscaping here. We hate the roof lines. We hate this chandelier, and 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 this chandelier. Say it with me. Dustville, USA. We hate this door design throughout the home. You see it here, and it's in here, over here too. We hate this thermostat. 20 million and you're giving us one of these. We hate these air conditioning registers. We hate this glass elevator. This is trying too hard to be like an Apple store. An elevator in a home like this shouldn't be a centerpiece. It's expected for a home this big to have one. It should be more subtle like in a closet. Oh hey, check out that closet. Psych, it's an elevator. We hate that there's a curtain to close off the dining room. To be honest with y'all, this is one of the worst things I've ever seen. It's deranged, unhinged, and it broke my brain. We hate the asymmetry of the space. Like you look over here and it looks like that, but this way it's open like this. We hate the feel of the kitchen. Even though it's a big space, it feels tight and we'd want it to be more open. We hate the island monstrosity. What's going on? I'm so scared. We hate the ceiling fan in here. It's so small, what's it going to even do? And who wants dust blowing all over their food? Not me. We hate the fridge freezer situation. At this size of a home, you need to just upgrade to a walk-in fridge and freezer, like an Arby's. We hate the coffered ceiling in the dining room, as well as this square table. This feels more like we're having a business meeting, but the only business I want to do in here is eat my sandwich. We hate how high the TV is in the living room. How am I supposed to lump here without hurting my neck? We hate this desk in the office, and we hate the wood floor angle. We hate the glass blocks in the gym. As president, one of my first orders of business will be to pass funding to get rid of these across the nation. We also hate that it has an upstairs workout area. Uh, this is a home gym. It's not that serious. We hate these mirrors in the massage room. There's never been a worse time in history to be whatever the hell is going on in here with these mirrors. In the garage, we hate the flooring. And we hate all these boob lights. Finally, outside, we hate that there's no grassy place to frolic. Unless you want to roll down this hill. This home ranked 3 out of 5 on the homies home ranking scale. Hey, as always, welcome to the Stats After Show, where we take a deeper look into the stats. The price per square footage here was pretty solid for what we've seen in Hidden Hills, although the home looks like it could still use a pretty good renovation. For Ahmad, I understand he broke up with his boyfriend and he's been living here alone, and this many square feet and being alone seems quite depressing. He bought some land and a home that we reviewed a few months ago in Wyoming, and he seems to be building a much larger new home there. Hopefully we could check that out soon. This neighborhood is super exclusive. All the major celebs live here. Chris and Chloe just bought homes here. I think Kim's house is close by. Russell Peters, former home, was here. The home was really big, but I hate when a home is large just for the sake of being large. There wasn't like a good cohesiveness to it. What did you all rate the home and what did you love and hate about it? Let us know in the comments. See you all next episode.